The world of prosthetic limbs has been making strides for some time now, but the newest versions are beginning to work a little more like this. That is, controlled by the mind of the person sporting the bionic limb. Researchers at the Rehabilitation Institute of Chicago have, for the first time, unveiled a prosthetic leg controlled by the human brain. Okay, so it looks more like a robot wearing a flip-flop than RoboCop, but it works more like a human leg than ever before, combining thoughts and neural signals to produce movement. Zach Vodder, who lost part of his right leg in a motorcycle accident four years ago, has been testing the new design. I seamlessly walk up to a set of stairs and just go up, foot over foot, up the stairs like you do. Whereas with my normal prosthetic, I kind of have to drag it behind me as I go up the stairs. The leg, which was built thanks to $8 million in funding from the U.S. Army, works by redirecting nerves headed to the damaged muscle, to the hamstrings, and a nearby sensor that reads what the nerves are communicating. Then it does whatever your thoughts tell it to do. Zach has been rewired. The nerves that would have went to the muscles that control his ankle have been redirected. This prosthetic limb joins a few others already operating on brain power. DARPA created an arm that moves via neural interface technology. But it does have its own challenges, like the potential to take a stumble if something should go wrong. Quoted by The Verge, the project's lead researcher says, if there was a mistake or error that could cause someone to fall, that could be potentially catastrophic. We want to avoid that at all costs. And the price could be an obstacle as well, with robotic prosthetics currently going for upwards of $100,000. According to Vodder, though, that price may be worth it. Quoted by Time, he calls the prosthetic groundbreaking and phenomenal. The team behind the leg hopes to have it ready for testing in five years. Their research was published in the New England Journal of Medicine. For Newsy, I'm Candace Aviles.